All right. Welcome to the Uncensored Truth Podcast. I am Brother Old Guy from Hip Hop News Uncensored, and sitting right across from me is my co-host. What it do? What's good? It's Sam Ant Bible Hip Hop News. Another episode of the Uncensored Truth Podcast. Oh, what a wonderful feeling to be winning! It's good to be here yeah. with another episode. What's good, Old Guy? What's good, man? We in the building, and we going all the way in. We got a number of uh, breaking stories that we want to share with y'all, so we're going to get right in it as we do. Everybody watching, do me a favor. Y'all been doing such a good job at hitting that like button, yeah. and sharing these videos and helping you know get the message out there we definitely appreciate it i'm going to start here with the uh kellen winslow i was um, up last night and i seen this and we remember kellen winslow yeah, jets man. patriots cleveland browns you know um he played think tight end and wide receiver mm -hmm. you know jump back and forth two different positions well he's being accused of some pretty horrific you know allegations at this point now kellen winslow is being accused of kidnapping and raping two women both in their 50s acute according excuse me to tmz now if that's not sickening enough there's also reports that um, he actually, you know, tried to do the same with women in their 70s and 80s. Now, he's um, last week that we know that he was um, arrested for residential burglary, but now he's being accused of criminal charges, including kidnapping, rape, indecent exposure, and even sodomy. So um, now, so the story, the backstory goes: Winslow allegedly kidnapped and raped a 54-year-old woman in March before allegedly kidnapping and sodomizing a 59 year old woman in may on top of that he already committed a burglary um which he was arrested for with the intent to rape a 71 year old and an 86 year old now um what uh, winslow is a uh, today's the 15th right yeah yeah so he's uh, actually scheduled to appear you know in court today to answer um to these charges now we know that winslow had a, a pretty uh successful nfl career was good we never had any inclinations you know if these are these right now this is all allegations let's just put that out there he hasn't been convicted you know of anything but uh sam man what do you think about these allegations of kellen winslow going after even older women you think it could be some you know truth to this or if this is fabrication i'm about to go all the way in on this man first oh. off kellen winslow miami hurricane great mm -hmm. tight end for the miami Facts. hurricanes has real just real a royal bloodline when it comes to the NFL being the son of Kellen Winslow Sr., Hall of Famer for the San Diego Chargers. He wasn't a dude that had to really grind and scratch his way into the NFL and had hardships. He basically had the silver spoon in his mouth. Now, we don't know how he was raised, mm -hmm. but he was pretty well off financially. Went to a, a great university, great football university, got drafted. I remember he got drafted number five, I believe, to the Cleveland Browns. I remember vividly because mm -hmm. I'm a Redskins fan, and I was hopeful we got him. Ended up getting Sean Taylor, rest in peace. Definitely yes, a better move than Kellen Winslow at the end of the day. But it always seemed like this, kind, this dude always had an erratic behavior. He was always kind of real overly aggressive in his interviews real overly mm -hmm. cocky is although you loved him on the football field when you listen to him it was he just came off this kind of charisma like damn he's an asshole he really is an asshole you mm -hmm. kind of just get got that gauge throughout his interview now he's about what six five 240 pounds he ain't he, he don't seem like in really in the need for money so this screams to me he's just got some kind of really has a drug problem and has a mental issue for him to go after or feel the need to first off rob these these older women mm -hmm. and then take them sexually that's a bitch ass punk ass you let me ask you this of. you think this might you know about the concussion thing with the nfl um and they talked about mm -hmm. that and you know do you think the, is, is, there, is there any correlation between this you think they'll find it because they found it in my man um aaron hernandez yeah you know they found some um i forgot what the name of the uh the uh the diagnosis cte is. cte, CTE yeah. is the uh diagnosis uh any chance with this you think they may find at some point or? that's a great great um, point you bring up, oh God, and I think that his lawyer team and his defense team will bring that mm -hmm. into play. Right. I'm going to just go off of the assumption based off of his behavior in college in the NFL that he was just this kind of mm -hmm. asshole anyway. I'm not trying to paint the brother as a villain. I'm just going mm -hmm. off of what I see and what we saw throughout his career, like I said, in Miami with the Cleveland Browns and the list goes on and on the NFL teams that he played for. He just seemed like the kind of guy that was just an asshole. I'm not saying like he was the kind of guy to commit the, the allegations that he's committing right now. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people would paint that picture, but it's just like, first off, what are you doing robbing people? What kind of mm -hmm. like, Burgling, let's just talk right, about right, that. Right, right, right. What are you burglarizing people for? If you don't mm -hmm. have a drug problem, cause you played in the NFL, your mm -hmm. pension should be straight. Your money should be straight. You make, you're pretty really well off financially when mm -hmm. it came prior to that. What are you doing robbing people if you don't have a drug problem? Yeah, something going on there. If 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 indeed this is true. And it true. could be right. painkillers. It could it very could be well that. be. Yeah. It could be sitting there on the situation with yep. oxycodone yep. and all that. We know where yep. that 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 role leads when you start mm -hmm. taking too many of those. Mm -hmm. Brett Favre, NFL legend quarterback for the um, facts, facts. Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings, New York Jets, I believe as well. He came out and said that he was um he four times he got hit 
with um some kind of drug penalty or something like that. He was in mm-hmm. rehab four times with yeah. drug use, and he yeah. was high his whole NFL career. So yeah. it just goes on. It's just real facts. deep when it goes on into the NFL. So it should be highlighted when it comes to Kellen Winslow, and it's going to be looked at some more because this is some sick shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, very, very, very sick. And I think he definitely hit that, you know, right on the head. But you know, we will we'll definitely keep everybody updated. You know, where there's more developments with that particular story by right now. But you listen to the Unsend the Truth podcast with your brother, old God and Sam. Man, we want to implore everybody listening to please go right, but you know, up top, uh, watching us.